Hey y'all. So in 2013 or 14, I made a promise to myself to never live vicariously. And that means to never live through other people, to never be so caught up in other people living their lives that I don't live mine. And I think with the advent of technology and social media and all this other stuff, it's very easy to get caught up in watching other people live their life and think like, oh, well, that's special for them, but I can't do that, right? I don't have the resources. I don't have the connections. I don't have X, Y, and Z. And you know, we're, we're measuring our lives to these people who have made a life for themselves. And maybe we don't even really want what they want. Maybe we just want our own slice of heaven, our own slice of excitement, our own slice of joy, right? We want our own autonomy in our own lives. Um, and I think in a lot of ways I have honored that promise, but also I have not. Um, I have honored it in a lot of ways. I've done a lot. I have car camps. I have RV'd. I have, you know, put on performances. I have made music. I've done photo shoots. I've done all the things that I want to do. But I think it's almost like I'm in this place where I want to live again. I want to live again. I don't want to talk about stuff so much. I want to live more, you know, and I feel like, you know, there's nothing wrong with talking. There's nothing wrong with planning, you know, and dreaming what I want to do. I want to live like I have a whole list of things I want to try and a whole list of things I want to do. And so I think this is perfect because it's almost 10 years since I made that promise to myself or that vow to myself. And I want to honor that vow. <laughs> so I'm coming back to myself. I'm coming back to living again. I'm coming back to doing it messy. And that's the thing, right? Because social media is so curated. Everything has to look so pretty. The fonts, the, the images, the sound, the video, like everything is all about looks now. It's not really about the truth. Like everything is about what it looks like. Everybody's talking about what it looks like, how women should look like, how, you know, I don't know. Ugh, it just feels so fake. <laughs> it feels so fake because life is messy. Life is not perfect. No one has it figured out. You know what I'm saying? And I never want to come across as someone who does have it all figured out, you know? Um, and I, I think I have created almost like a prison for myself where I feel like, oh, is this good enough? I don't know if I should post it. I don't know if I should share it. You know, oh no, I stuttered here. Oh no, I misspoke here. Oh no, I had a little spittle <laughs> come out my mouth. Like, it's not cute. That's not cute, right? But I don't want to live my life for cutesy sake. I'm not trying to be cute. I'm trying to be real. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to be me. I'm trying to be honest. And, um, and I think social media has a lot of us messed up. A lot of us have imposter syndrome because we have spent so many years, my face this way, cause the sun, the sun is hitting, okay? Because we have spent so many years watching real life turn into TV. Think about it, like, you know, it used to be some separation between entertainment and real life. You know what I mean? Like you would read a book, you'd watch a TV show, a movie, whatever it is. And now there's no difference. Like people are online showing their lives for clout and it's not even real. And we're looking at our own lives and saying, dang, I'm not doing what they are doing. So <laughs> what's the point? You know, people are afraid of sharing their truth. People are afraid of being honest and being messy because what is praised and what is idolized, honestly, is like perfection or this idea of whatever perfection is this year because it always changes. You know what I'm saying? And we know in real life that life is messier than that. But we see these people living out perfect lives, curated lives, to be clear. It's not perfect. It's curated. They're only showing us what they want us to see. And so we're judging ourselves against that, which is not fair. It's not fair. Yeah. And so we spend a lot of time looking at people do stuff perfectly and we see our imperfect selves and we say, dang, well, I guess they're perfect. I can't do my thing. No, you're allowed to make mistakes. You're allowed to fumble. You're allowed to misspeak. You're allowed to not get it right. You're allowed to be wrong. You know what I'm saying? And I need to show myself that same grace. I have, again, created a prison for myself in which I feel like, dang, like, you know, people are following me now and, and all this other stuff. So what I have to put out has to be perfect. And it's time to remind myself that I don't. Cause I am not perfect. <laughs> I am not perfect. You know, I ain't get this far in my life as, you know, being perfect. I got this far trying and making mistakes and failing and falling on my face. And the pressure that other people put on me to be perfect, I don't have to own that. That shame that people put on me for not being perfect, that's not my shame. I put that down. And so during the 10 year anniversary, right? Almost 10 years, since I have made that vow to myself, um, I wanna make sure, I wanna check in and make sure that I'm keeping that vow to myself. Oh, my hands are ashy. <laughs> I wanna make sure that I'm keeping that vow to myself. You know what I mean? 
And so I want to live more. I want to share more. I want to share more of living because life is for the living, y'all. And life is messy. Life is complicated. Like life is an adventure. And we never really have it figured out. You know what I'm saying? Even sages that we look up to or um, gurus or whatever, like they don't have it figured out either. They're people too. I think that the way that people get to wisdom, the, the way that people get to freedom is by giving themselves the chance and the freedom to mess up, to make mistakes, to be imperfect. You know what I'm saying? Like that's how people get to where we see them at and like comparing ourselves to them. But we're not even seeing the process that they've got, that they've taken to get there. Give yourself grace, you know? So yeah, so 2013 or 14, I made a promise to myself on Facebook. I declared, so that makes it official. <laughs> I vowed to never live vicariously. And like I said, I have done so much in this life so far. And a lot of the stuff I overlook, I downplay. And I, and I compare myself to other people. I'm prone to comparison too. Dang, this person is doing that. I want to do that. Okay, well, Alicia, do it. Or do it your own way. Because the thing is, sometimes we don't even want to do what other people are doing. We just want our own slice of joy and happiness and pleasure and play. And so what is that for you? What is your wildest dream? What is your, uh, what is the thing that gets you excited to think about? What is the thing uh, that you wanna do? It doesn't have to be what I do. It doesn't have to be what anybody else does. What do you wanna do with this one precious life? Don't get so caught up. I'm gonna have to go in a second because they're cutting grass. But don't get so caught up on what other people are doing that you forget to live your life. Like we spend so many hours consuming content from other people, their opinions, albeit flawed, albeit messy, albeit beautiful, right? Like we take in so much stuff from other people and give so much grace to other people. And we don't give that same grace to ourselves. Don't live your life from behind a computer screen or a phone. Live, make a list. That's what I plan on doing. And I'm gonna share it with you guys. So I'm um, shout out to Fair Aware. She actually gave me this idea to share, to share that, to make a list of creative things I wanna try or just life things I wanna try and share it with you guys. Like I, last year I went car camping with my husband across the country and I haven't even shared it because I've been like, oh, well, what if the storytelling is not perfect? Girl, just share the footage, <laughs> you know? Like just do the thing messy. It, none of this matters. All of this is fake. <laughs> like, like, right? But you don't wanna not live your life because it's not Instagram perfect or YouTube ready or whatever the heck, because these platforms will fade. You know what I mean? These platforms are temporary. What is not, like, I mean, even though your life is temporary, technically, depending on what you believe. I don't believe my life is temporary, but I believe this experience is temporary. And even in this experience, in this one manifestation of myself in this life on earth, right? Like, I don't want to my life to be dictated by the internet. <laughs> like, I am a sacred being having a beautiful experience. And that experience includes mess. It includes fumbling over my words and being human. You know, and I feel like for a lot of creators online, they feel this prison that they put themselves in or other people put them in. Like, oh, if it's not gonna get me the views and likes and I can't share it, I can't do it. Oh, let me dictate my life. Let me make a list of things I wanna do to please an audience on YouTube. But what about you? What about you? Are you fulfilled? And the truth is lately I have not been feeling fulfilled. And I've been like, what is up? What is going on? And it's because I haven't been keeping that promise to myself, that vow to myself to never live vicariously because I have been living vicariously, watching other people do stuff. And there's nothing wrong with entertainment. There's nothing wrong with supporting other people. I do it too, right? But it, there's, there's a limit, there's a limit. There's, there's a line between where you're entertaining yourself and comparing yourself to other people or you're making excuses for yourself why you can't have a beautiful life either or why you're not special enough to do what someone else is doing. And so like, live <laughs> you know what I mean like I'm kind of recording this video for myself but also to you because maybe somebody else needs to hear it live don't live vicariously through other people that 23 or 24 year old version of myself she was reminding me today to never live vicariously and if you have started doing that have grace with yourself forgive yourself it's so easy to get caught up entertainment being captivated with other people's lives being distracted is it distraction is everywhere okay so you know, most people are consuming other people's lives, but what about your own? Are you living a life that you wanna live? Really check in with yourself. Like, are you really doing all the things you wanna do? Are you putting off joy? Are you putting off pleasure and play, your dreams? And if so, why, you know? Yeah, it's time to get back to living.
And so I'm going to be sharing stuff here, of course, the music, the, the, the talks, all the things, but living, living and living messily, right? Like I'm not a, I'm not a videographer. Okay. I am not, I am not, um, what do you call it? A director. I am not, I'm not none of that stuff. I'm not a professional anything. I'm just out here living and sharing my journey. And I think that's enough. And that's enough reason to share. You don't have to be perfect to live or share. Life is not perfect. You don't have to be perfect. And perfection is a lie. It's a distraction. It's, it's, it's procrastination. You know what I mean? Like it's distraction. So don't live vicariously through other people. I have more stuff I wanna share with you all, um, but that's just something I wanna share today. Like stop living vicariously through others. Your life is just as beautiful. And some, sometimes we are missing the beauty in our own lives, looking at the beauty in other people's, the curated beauty in other people's, right? We're looking at an HD version of what people want to show you as opposed to what is real, what is authentic. And I never wanna live my life for the internet, nah. I think the internet is a beautiful tool. I think it's wonderful. I'm connected to amazing people through the internet. I'm able to share my life through the internet. You're watching this video from the internet, you know what I mean? But I am not a product. I am not a character. I am not an actress, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm Alicia, okay? I'm Alicia. I am all over the place. I am complicated. I am multifaceted. I am confused sometimes. I am frustrated. I am all the things. And all the things deserve space and time to be honored and seen and appreciated and felt and heard. And my dreams deserve to be realized and your dreams deserve to be realized. So don't live your life for the internet. Don't let this curated feed confuse you into thinking that your life is not beautiful or that you can't do what you wanna do, because you can, you can. The only difference between you and those other people is audacity, is permission to live your life, however that looks because you're not living your life. Don't live your life for other people or for applause or praise or views or likes. Like there's so many people out here being fake and phony and harmful because they're so addicted to the praise. And it's so easy for all of us to fall trapped to that. I have fallen prey to that. Like, oh, I gotta chase the views and the likes, right? Doing things that don't align with who I am, doing things that don't resonate with who I am, things feeling stuck and stuffy because I'm trying to portray someone I'm not, trying to be perfect, trying to articulate my words correctly. And girl, I be stumbling and fumbling in real life. Like, <laughs> so of course it feels heavy, of course it feels hard, but what's not hard is being authentic and honest. That's easy, that's easy. So choose ease by choosing yourself, by being yourself. And if you wanna share it on the internet, do so. Do so. If you want to share it on the internet, do so, right? But don't dictate, don't allow the internet to dictate how you live your life, how you show up. Because I got stuck in that same thing. And it's time to come back to that, not living vicariously, being honest, being Alicia in her full form, because that is restful. Being yourself is restful. It is easy. When you're not pretending to be someone you're not, it's easy. Stuff flows. It might be hard because people might reject you, right? But you being yourself is the easiest thing you can do. Start there, look within, really take time. Take like five minutes and sit in silence and ask yourself, what do I really want? What feels really good? What does God want for me, right? Like, am I dictating my life? Am I living my life through other people? Am I living vicariously or am I really living? And if you're honest with yourself, most of us are not living. Most of us are being who we think we have to be, to be loved and, and honored and valued and seen. Most of us are living through other people. Most of us are comparing ourselves to other people every single day. It's not normal. This constant connection to the internet is not normal. This constantly peering into people's lives is not normal. It's not normal. It's a beautiful thing. There are beautiful things that can come from it, but being so connected can be detrimental. It can help you lose yourself because now you're fashioning and molding yourself into other people. You become who you, you become who you're around. If you're consuming other people, you become that. You become what you consume, even entertainment. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, whole point is, I'm getting back to that promise to myself. No longer am I living vicariously. No longer am I chasing perfection. Girl, that's too hard. That's exhausting. <laughs> that's exhausting. Of course, the plane wanna fly overhead while I'm talking. But yeah, like, this is just a reminder, an invitation, um, a reclamation of self, of self, of self. Check in with yourself. Are you living vicariously or are you really living? 
are you being true to who you are or are you second guessing everything you do before you do it because you're worried oh well what, what, what will this person say what will they think of this you know you know what I mean it's interesting because a lot of people are chasing fame for significance but you're already significant and chasing fame is dangerous because people are fickle people people consume you you're not some you're not a meal to be consumed you're a human being a whole human being and so even if you are sharing your life on the internet or whatever you're doing, you know, because again, there are beautiful people that I follow that are very helpful to my journey and encouraging to my journey. Um, but be sure that you're being yourself the entire way through. Don't forsake yourself trying to be someone that you're not. It's not worth it. It's not. I don't care how many likes and views and how much money you get. It's not worth it. Because at the end of the day, when you're with yourself and you look yourself in the mirror and you know you haven't been yourself, you got to be with yourself for the rest of your life. Don't lie don't be a liar don't lie to yourself right and don't lie to other people because that's not sustainable being an actress and being constantly on and having a perfectly curated feed is not sustainable and that's why so many creators are burned out trying to keep up with an algorithm trying to keep up with you know a schedule and what people like and what people want to hear and oh trying to trying to be in other people's heads and figure out what they want to see and what they want to hear and tickling people's ears and bending over backwards that's exhausting it's exhausting and it's unfruitful and it's unpleasant and it's harmful it's harmful the truth deserves to be seen to be heard even if it's imperfect even if you're wrong <laughs> Give yourself grace. Give yourself grace and stop living vicariously through people. So I have a list of things that I want to do, um, that I want to try, that I have dreamt about for years at this point. And that's why I'm just like, girl, it's time to get back to living. It's time, it's time to get back to being yourself. Because um, I have so much that I want to share with y'all. Stuff that I'm doing. And if you need to take a break, take a break from watching me. Like, do what you need to do for you. You know what I mean? Um, and I... I was afraid to share because I'm like, oh, I'm going to lose people. People aren't going to watch anymore. And even though that's a scary thought, I think it's also necessary. I need to embrace the flop, embrace the failing, embrace that people will leave. Like, because if, what's the point of tap dancing and auditioning your whole life for people who will never accept you for who you really are? You know, that's a lot. It's, it's a lot to carry. Like, carrying the weight of someone else's pleasure of you or someone else's um, acceptance of you that's a heavy burden and it's not yours to carry. You are to attract. You are to attract your people by being yourself. Uh, that's it. By being yourself. Not by trying to be who you think you need to be or trying to be, you know, I don't know, a perfect person. Whatever. Like, it's all fake. It's all fake. <laughs> it's all fake. Just be yourself. What is real is sustainable. What is real will last. What is real rings true to other people. What is real is felt. Not what is fake or curated. You know what I'm saying? There are some creators I follow who just be talking like normal and I watch their stuff, who just be sharing like normal and I just be watching their stuff. And all this came from me wanting to share my adventures of car traveling, car camping with my husband. But our footage is not perfect. I just use my phone the entire time. I'm like, dang, I don't have a drone and I don't have these fancy shots. Girl, you don't need it. You know what I'm saying? Like, you just need to share it. Just put it out there. Because those things that we hold on to, the ideas, the dreams, the content, the videos, all the stuff, because we're afraid it's not perfect, it gets heavy. It becomes burdensome because we're carrying a weight that we're not supposed to carry. The idea is supposed to come to our minds. We're supposed to do it with our hands and put it out there and let God do what he does, okay? That's it. Let God do what God does. Us trying to anticipate what people are gonna think or how they're gonna take, that's not our job. You not God. You know what I mean? And it's good that you're repelling people too because you don't want the wrong people following you for the wrong reasons. Again, you are a whole human being. You are not an actress. You are the real thing. You don't have to have a whole sexy thing and a whole like, just be yourself. <laughs> the message we heard all through elementary school, be yourself, be yourself, whatever that self is today. Because who we are today and tomorrow might be a little different. You know, our moods change, our ideas change, our opinions change. We gain new knowledge and information. And so we change our opinions and our, our stance on certain things. You know what I mean? Like, and be open to that. Be open to be an ever evolving human being. And when you open yourself to that, there's less pressure. It's less pressure. Just be yourself. Be imperfect, be messy. I say all the time, I love that when my music 
I love listening to music that feels human, that feels like it has a little imperfection in there. I don't like perfectly, you know, oh, butterfly, oh, it's a butterfly. Anyway, I don't like perfectly uh, made anything. I like my music to feel human because the human experience is complicated. It is a little off sometimes. It is a little offbeat. You know what I mean? It is, it is not perfectly aligned all the time. It is kind of jarring sometimes. You know what I mean? And if we know that life is like that, then why are we trying to be perfect on this, on this, this, this? You know what I mean? Anywho, I want to make sure that I'm saying everything I said I had to say. But if not, I'll just come back and say some more stuff. But the message is: stop living vicariously. Stop living vicariously through other people who are also, and it's crazy because we look up to these people. It's interesting. We look up to these people who we think have it all together and they don't have it all together. They don't. That's the secret. No one knows what they're doing. No one has it all together. We're just trying to figure it out. And that's why you have so many trends because somebody sees something that something worked for somebody else. Somebody sees something that works for somebody else and they want to replicate it. And so you see people doing, that's why you go on TikTok. Everybody's doing the same dance, doing the same stuff. And for me, honest, just personally, it gets tired. I'm tired. I'm tired of these pre-planned, curated stuff. Some stuff is just for fun. Have fun, right? Have a great time. But a lot of people are doing it because they want significance. And if they would only know that they are significant, you don't have to do the trend. Stop trying to be trendy. Just be yourself. You know what I mean? And those who will get it will get it. Are there tips and tricks that you can use? Absolutely. But if it makes you uh, almost like bleach yourself, if it makes you wash yourself of yourself, like cleanse yourself of yourself, if it sanitizes yourself so much that you're no longer there, think twice. I'm not going, I'm not telling you what to do, but just think twice. Just be yourself, be yourself. Check the question I have for you. Are you living a life for you or for other people? And so maybe you are in some ways and maybe you aren't, but check those ways. I'm checking those, that stuff myself because the reason why I feel so sad and so depleted sometimes and so uh, depressed and anxious and unfulfilled is because I'm trying to live a life that pleases other people and not myself or God. Like, when I realize I'm trying to live my life for other people, I realize that I'm worshiping them. I'm making them my God. And humans are gods that never satisfy, that are never satisfied, that never uh, are, that are not stable, that are fickle. Like having a human as a god having their opinions like dictating your life is a very dangerous thing it's very dangerous it's very dangerous yeah shout out to my bird friends singing their songs shout out to the man cutting the grass doing his job shout out to you for living your life just make sure that you're living for real you know and i want to share more of that living um with you so that's all i got for now i got more stuff to share with you got some things to do some life to live, some experiences to share. Uh, but in the meantime, I hope that you're loving yourself. I hope you're having an amazing day. I hope you're enjoying some sunshine wherever you are. Hopefully the sun is shining. Um, taking care of yourself, eating well, loving your people, loving yourself. Uh, and I will talk to y'all in the next video. All right, love y'all. Love y'all so much. All right, bye.